And while we think, well, I'm not being tempted to convert to Judaism, at its core, we really are. Why? Because people in America, Gentiles, think they can be declared innocent because they've kept most the Ten Commandments. That's the heart of Judaism, the Ten Commandments. Incidentally, let me assure you, you've not kept the Ten Commandments. Most of us have broken all of them. Unless you think that's not you, I guarantee you've broke most of them. And if you think you hadn't, just listen to a few teachings here because there's times when I go through. A couple weeks ago, I went through all 10 and everybody failed. I mean, this was before you and your goodness was here. This is not, we all failed, all 10 of them. So we can't be justified through the 10 commandments. Now, I know some of you are sitting there going, well, yeah, okay, I know that. Pastor Dave, everybody knows that. No, they don't. Go to your family. Go to your friends. Go to your coworkers. Ask them what a Christian is. How do you become a Christian? How do you be a Christian? And let them talk. Don't correct them. Just listen. And what you're going to hear is things like, well, you know, in, in order to be a Christian, you've got to be a pretty good, be a pretty good person. You can't really mess up. If you're going to be a, a, a Christian, you, you, you're pretty much, you got life together and, and you're doing things right. That if you're good enough for long enough, that God will forgive you. That at the end of all this, you're going to help your good outweighs your bad. That's what they think Christianity is. And that's why many of them don't think they can live up to the standard. And the sad thing is, they're right. They can't live up to the standard. But I'm not the standard. You're not the standard. Jesus is the standard. Jesus' standard is perfection. And he offers us perfection for believing.